You will never be able to grow your business and grow your sales as long as your proposals continue to be garbage. Here's the thing with a proposal. You have to be proposing something. It sounds obvious, but most people who show up ready to put together a package, a quote, a budget, a proposal for whatever it is that they're selling do not actually propose anything. Yeah, they have details, they have budget information, they have all of the stuff that a proposal should have, but you're not actually proposing anything new. You're not actually proposing anything of value. And here's why I know that. Most proposals are made up of people who've gone in and you've asked all kinds of smart questions. You have followed the consultative sales technique. You've asked, what do you need? And what's keeping you up at night? And what's bothering you? And how can I help you? You tell me how I can bring you value. And so after asking all of these questions, you've gone away and you've decided, what is it that I can do to help drive value for this person? You need this, I can do this. You need that, I can do that. That's what your proposal is made up of. And guess what? You're not actually proposing anything new or of value because there are other people who can do this. There are other people who can do that. So you have to ask yourself, what are you proposing? Do you wanna be the person who can do it for cheaper? I guess you can propose that. Are you the person who's gonna do everything faster and jump every single time a client says, hey, I need something turned around and they're gonna beat the crap out of you? I guess you can propose that. Are you even proposing either of those things. I always ask every single time that I'm working across from someone, what am I proposing? Am I proposing that I'm smart? There's lots of smart people out there. Am I proposing that I have a great team? There are lots of people who have great teams. Am I proposing that I can do it for you on time and on budget? Countless other people can do it on time and on budget. So what are you actually proposing? You have to challenge yourself to think through this because it's hard. It's hard work with every opportunity that comes in, asking yourself, what am I actually proposing? What is unique to them? What is the value to them? What is it that I'm shaping and proposing for them? What is it that I can do for them that only I can do? What is it that I'm gonna say that only I can say? What area can I own? Where if they choose not to move forward with me, they are not only rejecting me, they are rejecting the very proposal I've put forward and the very way they should move forward with their business. They are rejecting the way that I look at the world because my proposal not only has me and what we're gonna do, but it has the way we look at the world and the very thing that they should do for their business. Will they reject all of those things? That is what I'm proposing. What are you proposing? Budget, time, you can do it. So what? It's easily ignored. Anyone can do that. You have to raise your bar and you have to raise your standards and you have to do more. So how do you do more? Well, it's shifting your mindset from quoting or budgeting or inside sales, past even consultative sales, to insight-based sales. Inside sales is basically saying, I'm gonna wait for people to come to me and then they're gonna tell me what they want and I'm gonna go ahead and quote it for them. Anyone can do that. There's a place for that in some businesses, but anyone can do that. Consultative-based sales has been around for what, maybe 20 or 30 years? And that's the idea that you are gonna work with the person, that they know what it is they need. They just don't know how to get there. They don't know what questions to ask. And through a series of really smart questions, you are gonna unlock what it is that they need. Between the two of you, you are gonna figure out exactly what it is they need. But even at the end of that journey, all you are proposing to them is the thing that they unlocked. So you've worked with them and you've gone through the questions and you've helped them figure out what you need and now you propose to them, I can do that. It's not very compelling. Moving to insight-based sales is the answer because with insight-based sales, what you do is you sit across from the person and you take in all the information you need and then you go away and you come back and you actually propose the answer. Now, you might say, well, who am I to tell the client what it is they need? That's the very point. You are the person to tell the client what they need. When you go to the doctor and you sit down and you say, doctor, I'm not feeling good. And they run a whole bunch of tests on you and they come back. Do they then ask you a bunch of questions to help you find out the answer? Or do they take the results from those tests and use all of their knowledge and all of their experience and all of their research to tell you, guess what? You're sick. When you go to the doctor, you expect them to use insight to come back to you with the answer. 
Think about them as proposing to you the course of action for how to get treated, that what medication you should take. That is insight-based sales. And that is what you need to do your clients if you wanna be able to propose something of meaning. So the insight process can change depending on the industry you're in or how you choose to work. But for me, what I do is I try to get a sense of what the client wants to accomplish. Start with the goals. And then from goals, you can move to who are they speaking to or who are they pursuing and going after? The target audience. You try to get a sense of what their motivations are, their buying habits, and what they're most interested in. From there, you get a sense of where might you sell or how might you sell. It, again, it depends on your industry, but you have to work through a series of questions just like a consultative-based approach. But then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go away and you're gonna use further research, you're gonna use uh, brainstorming power or creativity or experience. You're gonna use tools or whatever it is you need to use to be able to dig into deeper insight and to be able to take that insight to craft a custom answer or custom solution. It's not about packaging things out. It's about coming back with a custom answer or a custom solution that is unique for them. At that point, you are now proposing something of value. You're not only saying that you're smart, that you can do it on time, that you can do it on budget, that you can help them through it, that you have the right team. You're not only saying that you're better than everyone else, you are now giving them the answer to their problem. And because you developed this yourself, the chances of someone else coming up with the same answer is so slim. So guess what? If they reject you, they reject your answer. They reject your path. They reject your recommendation. They reject everything about it. And that's okay. It's, it's okay to lose in that case because you've put everything you can into it. You've took the biggest swing you could take at it. You tried to win that business the best way you can. And the fact that they're rejecting your very recommendation is okay because chances are you weren't gonna work with them very well anyway. If they won't even take the path that you wanna put forward, that's okay. They're not a good fit for you. But if you just propose, hey, we can do it, and they reject you, how do you know? You didn't work hard enough for the deal. You didn't actually propose anything. So next time that you have an opportunity in front of you, consider the way that you're gonna approach it. Can you move to insight-based sales? Consider whether you can go away and come up with a custom answer for them to help them achieve their goal. Consider if you're gonna be the person who gives them that answer for free. And then when you put together that answer, everything you're gonna do for them and what it costs and how long it takes and everything else, ask yourself, what am I proposing? If you can sit back and say, I have a amazing proposal here, then you've done your job. Let me know what you think. This works especially well for service-based businesses, for consultancies, for marketing, for people in video or design, where you have to propose something different and unique. And like always, you have to think big, you have to be bold, and you have to say yes.